Welcome back to Wager Wars, where Rob and I give you our best three NFL bets each week. I have made a little bit of a comeback in the competition, but George is still up by $764 in our competition. Now we've got playoffs coming up, but this week, George is going to give us his week 18 best bets. My first pick this week for Wager Wars is going to be the Carolina Panthers money line coming in at plus 198 on FanDuel. I went with three spoiler teams this week, teams that have no business winning games because why not try at the very end of the season to ruin the Buccaneers chance of making it to the playoffs. And not, yes, I had to put this on. I'm a Saints fan. Okay. But realistically, I think Bryce Young has seen the dark side and he is slowly in surely uh, molding what is going to be a very mediocre career, probably successful in the NFC South, but mediocre career overall. This is a game in which he can run up the stats. Expect a big game from Bryce Young. On top of that, Baker Mayfield. People have been talking about him this year uh, and, and the possibility, if DeMar Hamlin didn't almost die, of winning comeback player of the year. Well, when the that spotlight is put on you, you need to rise to the occasion. And when Baker Mayfield's need to do this in the past, eh, things haven't really worked out. A hundred dollar bet on this will return you two hundred ninety eight dollars. Boom boom. My second pick this week for Wager Wars is going to be the Chicago Bears money line coming in at plus one forty as they take on the Green Bay Packers. The number one reason why I love this game is that the Packers have a proven track record of not playing well at home early on in the first half. I think this is a spot in which you can see Justin Fields, who is legitimately playing for his job, step up and dominate Jordan Love and the Packers. Beyond just the, the rivalry implications here, uh, I'm Rob, maybe you can help me out with this really quick. Uh, we cut into it. Uh, are the Packers going to make the playoffs no matter what? Or if the Bears beat them, they're out. Um, I think the odds are very low if the Packers lose. So there's a possibility in um, all of these games where a team can lose and still be alive, but it results in like everyone else fucking up. Um, exact percentages will be if they lose, they're going to have a 15% chance at making the playoffs Green Bay. If they win, they have a 99%. And as it stands currently, they have 63. So leading into the week, they are they have a slight edge. With all that confusion, ladies and gentlemen, and with all that confusion, the only thing you need to know here is that the Chicago Bears, who have been spoilers throughout this entire season, will remain spoilers this week. They are a great pick. A $100 bet will return you $240. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> My third and final pick this week for Wager Wars is going to be the New York Giants. The G-Men. Money line coming in at plus 200 on FanDuel. The Eagles have failed to live up to their expectations this year. Their offense, although it, it, it is ensured that they will always get one yard, they have failed to put together an offensive package that makes me feel afraid of them going into the playoffs. Enough about the Eagles, though. Let's go into the Giants, who have always played the Eagles extremely tough. And in a game that we will likely see a lot of the Eagles starters resting, I expect the G-Men to step up and dominate the Philadelphia Eagles. A $100 bet will return you $300 and ensure me in winning this year's regular season championship of Wager Wars. With all my bets put in this week, I can return $838. All right, guys, and here are my picks for week 18. Now, a lot of people are saying you should do incentive-based overs, and absolutely do not listen to these absolute dumb fucks. Guess what's going to happen? There's games of playoff implications where some of these guys who have implications to maybe make some money, they're not going to play or they're going to play their first quarter or the first half and they're not going to get there and the books know all of this stuff. They are going to crush those lines and make you think that you're smart and then when it doesn't cash on the over, you're going to be upset. Avoid these entirely. They're going to be baked into the line from the odds to what the line is going to look like. They're going to say if a guy needs to get five receptions, they're going to price him at six and a half. It's not going to work out for you. Avoid it completely. But I have used playoff implications when I've been building my bets today. They're the same three bets across three different games. Now, when you have tight games, when a team needs to, you know, get something done to make the playoffs, it's going to be tight on either side. There's some teams here where they can get a better seed or they can just make the playoffs or they're both fighting for the same playoff position. And I'm expecting in all of these games I have listed here for there not to be three unanswered scores. That is for Houston, 
versus Indianapolis. A $100 bet here pays $230. Miami versus Buffalo, a game with some actual serious implications that could make some really good matchups if Buffalo loses, but Buffalo is really going to have to try and win here because they may not make the playoffs if they don't. A $100 bet here pays $240. And then for one of the dog fights of the week, Atlanta versus New Orleans, I'm expecting that game also not to have three unanswered scores. A $100 bet there pays $235. We're expecting these games to be tight. There could be a lot of scoring. It doesn't matter, but they're going to go back and forth. No one's going to blow anyone out in either of these three games. And I like this with a plus beside it. I've cashed on it, you know, last week. Maybe I'm just thinking I know a little bit more than I do than I because I want to bet, you know, that type of thing. But overall, I can win $750 this week. What we got to hope for me to be able to win Wager Wars regular season is for George to lose all of his bets and then somehow misplace $46. I'm playing smart here. I've got the long haul planned out. Playoff time comes up. You being a hockey guy, Rob, you know the President's Cup has a negative uh, connotation to it. Winning the regular season title doesn't mean shit. Well, I would like to let you know that I am not going to be the stereotypical President's Cup winner, brother. I'm coming for it all. Yeah, I'm trying to be reasonable with my bets this week. That's why, because at the end of the season, you know, what I bet still matters. So I decided not to go for nukes this week. My Joe Flacco nuke from last week. You know, I probably could have put something better in there and we might have actually had a dogfight this week. But coming into this week, I actually truly believe in these bets. If I had a thought of this earlier in the season, I might have put a couple of these in last week with those playoff implication games because there were some tight matchups last week. I mean, just look at Dallas and, you know, the Lions, people are trying to get division titles, everything like that. But playoff time, the, the public decides they're going to start seeding more money into the market. And it's when guys like us might be able to take some advantages. This will be one of the most profitable weeks for the gamblers. The sports books are terrified of week 18 in the NFL. And we thank you, though, for watching all of the regular season of Wager Wars and Come back next week as Rob tries to prove that he can defeat George in the Wager Wars Super Bowl.